Hello and welcome to another video. So for those of you that might not know, I've been training to squat 500 pounds and run a sub five minute mile in the same day, which before a few weeks ago had never been done before. So hats off to Adam Clink out of Chesapeake in Virginia, CrossFit Krypton. He smashed it a few weeks ago, very exciting to watch. So today, Sunday the 26th of July, I'm gonna try and be the second person to do it. So I'm gonna head inside to warm up and get squatting very soon. I'll show you the setup and then once I've got that out of the way, hopefully having squatted 500 pounds we're gonna head down the road to get a sub five minute mile boxed off so I'll take you inside show you the setup and then I'll take you throughout the rest of the day so got a full combo rack with my Texas power bar here which is 20 kilos and then four 25 kilo calibrated plates from custom kit and another four over there which makes 220 kilos plus two and a half 1.25 which is 227.5 kilos in total which will be on here very shortly. Yeah. You ready? <laughs> hey. Let's go. Yo, once again I'm back around, uh, real shit back in style, uh, haters wrecking style, uh, I'm so black and proud, first class tickets now, uh, feet all in the eye, uh, everybody looking down, everybody get red when you drown, huh? Look at me up, I'm putting it down, you picking it up Checking the models, they want us to go to college just so we can be stuck Go to school to make a living, or teach yourself to make a fortune Common sense, welcome to the apocalypse, bitch, I'm one of the horsemen I don't need your endorsement, I don't need reinforcement Giving you your last warning, cause I'm at my prime Yeah I'm at my Gone too far? Do you detect something different? If you look inside my head, would you say something's missing? If you could give all your riches just to say the word, would you risk it? These politicians so old can't tell if the day where they living. Better ask Kathy Griffin. You know I like to raise stakes. We was always taught to hit the gas. We ain't even know they made breaks. We control our own fate. Watch your dreams take shape. Try to keep us out. We gon' freak out. Turn this bitch to water cake. I don't need your mandate. Don't need you to elevate. I'm about to detonate, cause I'm at my prime So squat is done and that was the bit that I was worried about so feeling a lot better than I did before. Realised that I didn't actually show the date in the gym so 26th of July, Sunday, there you go. Gonna get the mile done now, I'm gonna do one 400 steady, 200 faster, 200 walking and then some sort of short sprints and then I'm gonna go. Got my friend Doug here to pace and I've got Craig on electric scooter filming with a GoPro side on so should all run pretty smoothly. Bit of a wind to deal with because it's quite exposed but that's Scotland. So warm up and then sub five is the plan. That's 200.
we need to dig in now. time. Stick with them. Let's go, we need to dig in now. We've come this far. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go, we need to dig in. Let's go, drive the knees, use the arms. Let's go. Everything you've got, let's go, 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 go. Lesson learned get over the line before you try and stop your watch. After all that, I go and trip on my spike at the finish. It's been about 10 minutes and I still just can't move. I'm just absolutely gobbed. Good dive for the lane as well. Oh god, I can't <laughs> believe that. <laughs> go, go, just, go to stop my watch and fall. Oh. oh, Jesus. Are you pleased? Thank you, everyone. Oh, yes. There's that coffee you didn't want. Johnny got on the background. All right. So, five hundred one pounds, four fifty nine mile. Number two, which although I was gutted I couldn't be number one, I'm still very pleased with that. I've never had to empty the tank as much as I did there, and we went a little bit hard on that one to be honest. Cheers Doug. <laughs> um, that's that, job done. I'm gonna get back in the car and head back to Edinburgh and I'll catch up with you then and close things off. So, as promised, back in Edinburgh, having squatted 500 pounds, 501 pounds actually, and ran a 4.58 according to the footage mile, which I'm buzzing about, but why stop there? So, 20 past three on, still, 
if it focuses. The 26th of July, Sunday. So it is, yeah, 20 past three now. I'm gonna head just up the road to the Union Canal for anyone in Edinburgh that knows where that is. As you can guess, I'm out there for a while. So the plan is a sub five hour 50K. Plot twist, I know, but if you've seen the title of this video, at this stage, it probably isn't a plot twist for anyone except me right now. So I've got electrolytes and carbs, electrolytes and carbs, a litre and a half of water on my back, gels to see me through. I've had a decent amount of pizza, a bit of caffeine and a bit of paracetamol because my head was killing me. So gonna head off in literally about five minutes, shoes, socks on, and just see how I go. I've done this route before. The last time I did it was when I ran 94 miles from Loch Lomond to Edinburgh. So I've got a bit of a, negative relationship with this certain stretch but we're going to do 25 kilometers out to Winchborough 25 kilometers back hopefully under five hours time I've got Craig who was spotting me before on the mountain bike with the GoPro and he's going to time lapse the whole thing so it should add up with all the data pretty much good to go a bit of caffeine last bit of supplies check I've got everything I need to go and I will set off very shortly see you at the canal right so at the start of the Union Canal Craig here who's gonna time lapse the whole thing on that just to prove that I did the whole thing I'll have data from Strava because Garmin Connect is down what a time for them to be caught by a ransomware attack I'll have the data on this one which will upload on my uh, laptop anyway but I'm gonna go off that off this and off this so there's three points of data to work off 50 kilometers Winchborough out Winchborough back 25 25 gonna get going all right, just over 5k, which is at one tenth in. My legs feel like lead. I've got a mad stitch from the pizza that I ate before this without enough time to digest. Horrible headwind on the way out, which you might be able to hear, but we're moving, we're moving. And right now it feels like I can keep, I can keep moving, which is all I can really do. So see you soon. Just clocked my first 10k. 53.06 so cruising at sort of a 5.20, 5.25 minute per kilometre pace um, feeling pretty worn out actually my stomach's sore, my abs are cramping legs feel okay but I'm just going to try and bank as much time as I can early doors, hope the headwind sees me back and that pure grit and two in the stem will see me to the finish but hotter than I thought it was going to be so glad I bought lots of spare water but all right, just over 15k done. One hour 22, We're gonna take my first couple of minutes of actual rest just because I'm starting to feel the effects of the squat on the mile. Legs just feel like lead, it's hot. Like I've got a salty forehead, which is not a phrase I often use, but uh, this is gonna hurt. Worried about water content because Craig's camelback is leaking. I think I'll be okay, but we can top up in Winchborough if needs be. So a couple of minutes and then back to it. Just at 20k. 155, 54. We're gonna change the battery on the GoPro so we can keep the time lapse going. Could probably get through it in two, maybe three batteries. It's so much hotter than I thought it'd be. All black, stupid decision. Make this mistake an awful lot. Uh, sunscreen, don't have any more to reapply. This normally doesn't happen in Scotland, but definitely gonna have to refuel on water in Winchborough because I'm getting through it like there's no tomorrow. So change this here. Brief gap in time lapse footage, and then we're back to it. Okay, 24k in, and I think the heat's starting to get to me. Forecast was much cooler than this. I'm cramping like mad in both my quads. I don't have any salt tablets because I just didn't expect this to be so depleting. Uh, a K or so before we can top up and water and try and get something salty, but to be honest, this isn't looking fantastic. Loads of engines around me as well mocking me but quads are struggling so uh, just gonna keep going see what happens that's all i can do all i can do all right so basically just shy of halfway point i am this close to locking up all over with cramps so sub 5 50 is off the cards new goal is just to complete the 50k i know that some salt will bring me back to life I'll keep at it, see what I can do. I'm so close to cramping, it's agonizing. I've walked the past sort of K and a half and until I have any salt, I'm not gonna be able to run because every time I do, my quad just completely locks up. So we'll see what happens. Craig's off now. It's 2.41 elapsed time. 
I'll let you know when he's back and then we'll head back the other way once I've clocked up another 1.9k. I'm probably going to walk up and down to accumulate that before he gets back. So bear with me. So, so just going to keep strolling up and down until he gets back with some supplies. And that should have us at the halfway point. And I'll just clock a little bit more at the end to see me to the finish. That is the contingency plan. Sadly, goal A is off the cards, but ultra running is all about adapting and rolling with the punches. Right, so this man here has saved me. Gonna put some salt in here with some water to dilute it down a bit and then just refill camelbacks and my front pouches, etc. Again, very much put to bed the idea of a sub five. I'm just gonna see if this saves me from my cramps. Hopefully find a way back. I already feel like a new man do now. So gonna keep moving. We've now got salt with us, which means that we won't run into this situation again. Again, hands up, that's on me. Experienced enough with ultras to know that I should always carry salt tabs with me, but just got caught into the trap of it's Scotland, you're not gonna need it. So my mistake there, but at the end of the day, I've got a lot of lactic and a lot of work in my legs from this morning. So this was always gonna be a challenge. Complacency, perhaps, idiot, 100%. 30K done, cramps have returned with a vengeance getting through as much salt as I can, but it doesn't seem to be helping. I think just the fatigue from this morning is catching up with me. So, as I've said many times already, I'm just going to keep going as much longer as I can. All right, we have full lock cramp on my left quad and that's been due for a while. It has arrived. It feels awful. We are just under 32K done. In three hours, 49 minutes. So, uh, ha -ha. yeah, this isn't looking fantastic now, to be honest. I've got through as much salt and lights as I can. Uh, I'm worried this might just be my body saying, we've had enough of you today. I did throw up after the mile, which isn't the best thing in the world for salt balance. Um, so there's that. But, I mean, this was a secondary goal. So at the end of the day, I need to keep just fight with myself here I don't know how much more of this I've got and ultimately I can't take this through to one in the morning because I've got a full day's work tomorrow and I can't go into it like a zombie so a bit of a balancing act I'm still moving which is good how long I can continue to keep moving is the golden question welcome back to cramp battles with Fergus Crawley so Given the time, it is 8.41pm, it's been a pretty long day, I'm going to be ruined and I've got a full day's work tomorrow as I've said, so I can't really be rolling into bed too late without adequate recovery. Um, so I'm going to fight my way to 42.2k, we are at 36.83 in 4 hours and 48 minutes, marathon distance fell short of the 50k goal but ultimately this is now an endurance component of what is a very sort of high output test with the squat on the mile that is so I'm at peace with the situation I'm gonna keep fighting every time I try and run something else locks up which is an exciting experience in many ways as I'm cramping in places I never have done before adductors they're a new one but yeah Craig's gonna go about three kilometers ahead so if three kilometers short of 42.2k ride back get his car and come pick me up from a point and then that'll be that but I'll update you nearer 42.2k little bit to go I'm gonna try and run 500 meters walk 500 meters as my strategy but who knows what happens so. okay so Craig is gone I'm double parked just to keep the time lapse going he's gonna boost back gets car come back and we, we're gonna meet at a certain point and that'll be me but uh, yeah sticking to 500 meters ran 500 meters walk well I can tell you for free that that will be the slowest marathon that I ever run but I'm very proud to have got that far given how much I've been suffering for the past sort of 20k to be honest ultimately this was always going to be a challenge the reason that 501 pounds and sub 5 minute miles only been done to one before and it took 15 sort of to 20 years to do so is because that's a challenge in itself I thought I'd place my strengths and add on an additional element but more fool me eh so 
I'm going to sign out pretty soon. Not far to go before I'm getting picked up by Craig. Time lapse has finished. Thank God what a pain in the ass that was. And I will update tomorrow once I have recovered somewhat and caught up on general life admin, etc, etc. So to summarise, 501 pound squat at about 9.30 this morning. 458 mile at about 11.30 this morning and a marathon starting at around 4 p.m. today. So big old day, lots of energy systems tested, tried, but ultimately my salt balance wins this round. So that's that really, day after Sunday's antics and I feel like I've been hit by a bus. My lower back has left the building everywhere that I was cramping consistently is just sort of agony standing up putting my own shorts on etc is not easy but i think with a bit of reflection on how i got on yesterday it might not have ultimately been salt balance that was what sort of wore me down over time i think there was just some physiological fight back for my body saying just stop running you dickhead um i've spoken to a few people and it sort of brought up the discussion around volume of blood in my muscles just sort of my nervous system being absolutely fried and just how much more my body was willing to take so given that i had a pretty active, challenging morning. It was no surprise that I struggled. But anyway, I'm very, very proud of how far I managed to get, given that I got to a marathon in the end. Very, very pleased with the outcome of the day, all in all. Really, really happy for, I'm gonna say, well, it's months of training specifically, but it's years of sort of building up towards that position, because obviously my background's in powerlifting, where squats been the dominant factor. And in the past three years, I've really, really focused back on running, so. I'm waffling on, but I'm going to draw things to a close. Thank you very, very much for watching. My end, training-wise, is now all focused on a big, big, big endurance challenge for my Movember charity campaign this year. I'm ambitiously hoping that I'm going to try and tip the £100,000 raised this year. So keep your eyes peeled for that. If you have enjoyed this video and you haven't subscribed already, then please do down below. If you've got any questions around training or the day itself, etc., do just drop them in the comments. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it and hopefully see you next time.